Here, South Korea's largest defense company is testing a new batch of weapons. The Wall Street Journal got a rare look inside Hanwha's facilities as it constructs howitzers destined for Poland and submarines that could bolster NATO's arsenal in the future. That's as South Korea is increasing its arms sales at a rate faster than anywhere else in the world. In just a five-year period, it has grown its defense exports by 177%. Although the US, Russia and France have considerably larger defence industries, analysts say the pace at which South Korea is expanding its output marks a substantial shift for the future. So here's how the country is transforming into a defence giant and what it means for the Western military alliance. Workers inside this Hanwha plant are building dozens of self-propelled K9 howitzers. Hanwha is South Korea's largest defense company. They are playing a big role in South Korea's arms exports. That's largely due to Poland, a key NATO member, purchasing them as part of a $13.7 billion arms deal. Military analysts say the rapid speed the workers here can build them is a major selling point. The process is completed in three stages, assembling the skeleton of the weapon, connecting the parts, and then testing its performance. Although the company won't disclose specific production times, recent deliveries have been prompt. The first shipment of K9s arrived in Poland in December, just over three months after the deal was signed. That's in contrast to other arms deals in Europe that are still ongoing years after the agreements were made. Hanwha says a quick completion time is a major part of its strategy to entice new customers. Military analysts say South Korea is able to build these systems faster than some Western counterparts, in part because of decades of escalating regional tensions. At the end of the Cold War, military powers in Europe began reducing their capacity to produce conventional weapons, while the threat from North Korea led Seoul to ramp up its production. In the years since then, South Korea has mostly focused on developing traditional battlefield weapons. So while countries like the US have focused on creating high-end weapons such as um, aircraft and nuclear submarines, South Korea has focused on uh, other weapons such as artillery. But now it's looking to export more advanced naval designs to the West. At this Hanwha shipyard, workers are building vessels including the KSS-3, the company's newest submarine. Industry analysts say it's one of the most affordable pieces of its calibre in the world. Hanwha is negotiating to sell the diesel-powered craft to Canada, another NATO member. The company is trying to keep costs and production time down by using automated machines and producing more components locally. The company plans to double its production capacity for these systems by 2027. Military analysts say the designs could help bolster NATO in the future, as China's navy, which is the world's largest, continues to expand. Traditionally, NATO countries buy weapons from other member states, but South Korea, an ally of the alliance, has been fulfilling a niche for weapons that are in demand due to the war in Ukraine. The US, for example, has also struggled with supply shortages, um, especially as it continues to send lethal aid uh, to Ukraine. Military analysts say supply chain problems haven't been an issue for South Korea, partly because it's not sending lethal weapons to Kyiv. Certainly, we know that uh, South Korea has been facing pressure from the US and also NATO to provide more than non-lethal aid to Ukraine because many European countries and the US are struggling in trying to backfill uh, their supply and they know that South Korea is one of the most technologically advanced countries with um, experience in uh, exporting their arms. <laughs> For South Korea's government, expanding its defence exports is a key policy objective. President Yoon suk yeol is relying on companies like Hanwha to reach the goal of becoming the fourth largest arms exporter by 2027. The rapid growth is not unsustainable, according to some military analysts who point to the country's long tradition of manufactured exports. That includes everything from cars, phones and semiconductors to container ships. However, as orders of these weapons stack up, defense analysts say Seoul may be over-promising how fast it can complete them. Being able to keep delivering them on time will be key for its success.